Good evening everybody! Today, Dialux Evo 9 has been released and I'm so excited to install it in my desktop. So if you want to download this Dialux Evo version 9.0, go and visit www.dial.de slash en slash home. And you can find this one download Dialux. And when you click it, there is an option for you to get the Dialux Evo 9 and also this 4.13, the old version of Dialux. So just go and click this one. Actually, I already download mine, so I will install it now. So just go, right click, and run as administrator. I'll say OK. OK, it's initializing. And while we are waiting for that, let's go and visit this Dialux Evo. So Dialux now has a new website. It's Dialux.com. It's no longer Dialux.de. So they have their official new uh, website. And if you want to learn more about this one, just go and check it. And the logo is also different now. It's DX. It's amazing. Okay. Let's see what happened now here. Yes, still initializing. Okay, so the requirements for this Dialux Evo 9, they said it should be, the CPU uh, has uh, 4GB RAM, minimum of 2GB, okay, and then graphics is 3.2, uh, sorry, OpenGL 3.2 graphics card with 1GB RAM, and it's possible to use in Windows 7, 8.1, 10, and you can have 32 and 64 bit. The resolution of your skin should be 10... 24 by 768 pixel okay it's still initializing uh, Dialux Evo 9 it's the worldwide standard in lighting design software it's calcul uh, design calculate and visualize light for single rooms wow single rooms pool buildings streets outdoor areas and daylighting free of charge that's the good thing about Dialux it's free of charge Anyways, all the lighting design softwares are free of charge, not 3D, the VGA um, is not. So if you use the Dialux Evo 9, you can do a lighting calculation of both the indoor and outdoor in one shot. That's the good thing and the most, the most amazing option of Dialux Evo. Okay, so it really takes time, so let's just wait for this. Okay, I think it's almost done. Where is it? A reboot is required to continue with the installation. After rebooting, rerun the installation. Alright, so I reboot my PC now and let's do and install it again. Okay. Alright, so let's go and install it now. Oh, shoot, sorry. Uninstall the Dialux Evo. Alright, so I'll be uninstalling the... This file is in use. Okay, let's just ignore it for a while. Okay, next now it's going to install the Dialux Evo 9.0. Yes, I do agree. Yes, yes. Okay, so installation complete. The installation is complete. Thank you for choosing Dialux Evo. Yes, click this. Uh, check this one always to allow drag and drop from web uh, web content into Dialux Evo, and say finish. And now let's go to the desktop and see how it looks. There you go. See the logo is different now. It's no longer the gray color. So let's go and open it. Wow! Look at that. Okay. And later, I will open one file and see how it looks because they said that there will be a dimension already in the report and also the output pages are different now. And the rendering time also lessen and it makes it better compared to the previous one. So I will open a Dialux Evo file later to check if it's true or not. Okay, so I'll just say I am a lighting design firm and then say send. Okay, so let's open now one file. So the the initial page is similar to the previous one. So I'll go and open one project now. Alright, so it's now open. 
and the rendering has been gone so what 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 is new with this let's go to the project tab and check oh look at this so the project tab is here now the project informations are all on the front tab or in the first tab okay and if you want to add a description it's easy now and you can if also you want to add image it's also easy and if you go to the construction yes this is our the same as before and on the light tab yep still the same calculation objects yep still looks the same and if you go to the export yes it's also the same and then if you go to the documentation so wow now it's changed it looks different now so you have an option to show the entire documentation oops okay so there's something like this and i have 50 53 pages so it's like printing already the file there's no printing option here anymore there's already print here and then save us or save okay and then export export page selection yes okay so this dialog is evil let's just cancel this one now save us what is this ah so pdf and if you go to the print yes still same okay the size of the layout alternatives what is this and then import page selection okay if i want to add pdf file all right export page if i want to export one for example um yeah okay so if i want to check this one okay looks good and let's go to the room let's see how it looks generate this issue with all sub points yeah generate now okay so the the room story room number 20 there's a luminaire list and the layout plan and if i click on the layout plan let's see if there's a dimension ah look at that now it's bigger and for example there's one room here i click the luminaire layout plan and there's a layout unfortunately there's no dimension yet and if you go here for example uh one two three four five and you can see those numbers are here reflected here so it's one two three the mounting height is 3.5 and the direction is like this okay all right so these are all down lights so now that, that's how it looks those this evo 9.0 is okay all right so let's go now and check for example the um, cover page ah oh, so there's a layout alternatives here you can have like this and you can have like that and if i want to configure for example i'll say i want to add this one and then back oh look at that so this is the cover page so there's a date and the title page and uh okay so this is how it looks now for the cover page maybe you can add those descriptions from here and this is the location of the project and the date of the project so there's no uh, logo here on the cover page and what is this preliminary remarks okay so maybe this is your any inf information glossary okay so there's a glossary here now daylight factor okay all right so there's a glossary now looking good if you want to educate your client you can also add this one and then of course the content which is the table of contents and then the contacts which you can add it on the first page i think here in the first tab and then of course the description okay that is how it looks and for example i want to add uh where did i yeah let's see this site layout luminar layout for site plan because i have lots of oh yo okay so now you can see that the uh, cad plan is also reflected on the luminar layout for exterior yes 
okay and it's, yeah it's a little still confusing because it's too small and you can see all those fittings here with the mounting position and if you want for example find out where is uh, luminaire number 87 <laughs> I'm not sure if you can identify it here um, yeah it's still confusing because it's too small but of course there's a CAD layout to export so it's no problem it's just for presentation purposes only I think and for example if I go to story number two for example let's click this one now we are in the story number two ah cool so it will tell you those rooms and also the CAD plan is reflected I'm not sure if it's too heavy because before it's really heavy to produce this uh, PDF report if the uh, if the AutoCAD file is included okay let's just save this one so I will save this one PDF format oh that's so many things here <laughs> I'll say just current page and it'll say okay and I'll say go to the desktop and say store it to list and say just like that now it's exporting I'll go now to my desktop and let's see story room list so it's 507 KB for this one page only I mean two pages so I think it's really heavy so this two pages is already 500 KB yeah one of my friend in Facebook told me that's the PDF report becomes so heavy and I think that is true or maybe I can remove that AutoCAD file like before is there an option to remove now configure yes plans in the background uncheck let's go back yep now but the CAD plan is gone so I'll just just save it also again current page okay I'll say room list number one and save and see how it looks okay again this is a two page similar to the previous one that I did and let's see how heavy it is go to the desktop room list number one okay this is 387 KB and this one is 507 so it's 200 difference I think yeah because of those CAD file it really again affects the the file size of the PDF I think to compare it with the relax uh, in terms of adding the CAD plan in the drawing in the report for for me right now relax is still very good compared to the dialax <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry for that one but I'm sure it will improve later on okay now let's proceed with the calculation speed so I'm still here in the light scene one and I'll go now to the setting I'll say fast let's see how it looks when I say it's fast and let's calculate I'll put a timing now it's 702 p.m. here and let's see how long it will take to render I selected the fast and later we will select the regular one 